Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I have a huge haul from Hella Handmade Creations. This was my September order and this was a combination of birthday presents from myself and birthday presents from Matt, my boyfriend. So I kind of have a lot to share with you. So let's not go too long with this intro and jump right on into these. So this first one comes from Dom Nail Polish. This one is called Hello Witchy, and this is inspired by Hello Kitty. And this is a light purple with some scattered hollows, which are really, really small, as well as some matte glitters in green and orange. They are circular. There is an irregular flaky type of glitter as well as some hex in tiny and normal size. This gives such a cool effect as well as it having this awesome blue glow. I did wear this one already but let me show you how this looks on the nail. First scoop. And let's go right on in for our second coat. This next one is a M and N indie polish. This one is called Beetle Guys, and this one is from Beetle Juice or inspired by Beetle Juice. This is a really pretty shifty purple. This has so many shifts. I see a pinkish gold shift. I see a blue and a green shift. Let's try this one out. Let's go in with our first scoop. That is really close to full on the first coat. That is really close to full on this first coat here, but we will let it dry and come back and finish that out with the second coat. Let's go in for our second coat. Here you kind of see that green on the extreme angle. The blue and green seem to be more of an extreme angle shift. And you mostly get this really nice pink glow to it. Here is that blue and green shift, which is super dramatic actually. Not just extreme. And it's really nice. Wow. This next one is actually my first cupcake polish. I've been eyeballing a lot of their polishes for quite some time, but this is the first one that came up in one of the pre-orders that I just could not miss. This one is called Daphne. I think this is from Bridgerton. The inspiration for this polish is not on the box, so I'm actually uncertain, but I believe this was a Bridgerton polish. This is a beautiful baby blue with a really nice shimmer to it. It has that nice blue shimmer as well as a darker blue and a purple into a pink. And when I turn down the lighting, you can see a little bit of that on the bottle edges. Let's try this on the nail. Let's go in with our first coat. I 
that is very icy. That is more color accurate for you. Super pretty. Let's let it dry and come back for a second coat. Let's go in with a second coat. This one looks very nice in two coats. Let me show you the shifts. The next thing I grabbed was actually a duo. This is Penelope Lou's Forbidden Love Duo. This is the polish. It is a hollow with a beautiful pink shimmer as well. And this blue has a tinge of purple, but it kind of has that cornflower hue. Really nice color. And the topper. These are Penny Dreadful theme. The topper is really interesting. So there's kind of like a pink glow, but I feel like that might just be coming from these flakes, which I think are UCC flakes. These are really metallic and they're multi-chromatic and shifty. And there is also a hollow in here. So we shall see how these look together. And just for fun, I will put this one over a couple other colors kind of in the same color family. A blue and a purple. Let's try them out. Let's go right on in for our first coat. Let's go in with our second coat. That covers beautifully in two coats, and that shimmer is amazing. I love this. And let's go in with our topper. That is such a stunning duo. Look at the hollows on top going crazy. They look like little diamonds. And that pink glow is so, so juicy. It comes through both with the topper and the base color. And of course, those flakes are very shifty and add so much to this. Wow. Let's try this topper over a couple other colors just for fun. That is such a festive topper. It is just so colorful. You can wear that over anything. Super cool. This next one is called Yeehaw, and I believe the inspiration is Woody from Toy Story. Let's take a look at this one. 
This is Red Eyed Lacquer. Ooh, that is so cool. And how fun are those shifts? And all those little small flakies. Oh, this is going to be fun. Let's try it out. First coat. That is beautiful. We'll go in for a second coat once this is dry. Let's go in for our second coat. This one does cover really nicely in two coats, at least on my nail length. I feel like if my nails were a bit longer, it may take three, especially at those kind of extreme angles. You kind of see what I would call like the shadow of the nail line, but I also feel like it may be partly due to the shift. Here it is with a flash on it. And you can see that there is actually some hollowness. This is so pretty. It has like a salmon pink type of shift into like an orangey gold. And with all those flakies and what appears to be hollow gone wild, <laughs> this is super beautiful. With the flash, you do see the nail line a bit, so I would advise going in with a third coat if you are worried about that under the highlight and if you have longer nails. Otherwise, this is ridiculously beautiful. Wow, so happy to have gotten this one. This next one is by Zombie Claw. This one is from the ongoing Powerpuff Girls collection. This one is called Prettiest Girl at the Party. This is such a beautiful Crelly. Just the way I like it. Absolutely slammed and jam-packed. Full of glitters and flakes and shards. Wow, you guys. This is so pretty. Here it is with flash. Wow, wow, wow. Let's try this on. Let's go right on in for our first coat. This one seems to have a little bit of a thicker formula and it requires that you do not drain your brush, which I'm used to doing. That's why the first finger seemed a little bit sparse at first, but wow, you guys, this is going to be so beautiful. Look at all those glitters. I would also recommend not overworking it like I did. I kind of went in with a few heavy swipes and you can see that I created some kind of bald looking patches. So just kind of be aware if you guys grabbed this one or if you happen to find it in a D-stash. Super beautiful. Let's go in with our second coat. So with this one, I would just say use a little bit thicker coats. You might have seen that I went in on the tip of this one just to kind of make the opacity match this one since it's a little bit longer. It takes a little more polish, but turns out this one can be a two-coater instead of three if you'd like to go in with those thicker coats. I feel like that will leave these matte glitters to be a little bit more visible rather than buried in three coats like I usually do my Crellies. But not only is this one full of all those glitters, you get this really cool golden fleck type of glow on there. 
So this one's really unique. I have absolutely nothing like this in my collection. So cool. This next one is actually a part of a duo. I really love the fact that HHC actually allows you to pick and choose if you only want one from a duo. They do have the single versions available. So this is actually my first pickup from Patty Lopes. This is another one of those really awesome Brazilian brands. We've been seeing a lot of them lately, and I have been enjoying them so much. So really excited to see this one. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself here. This one is called Tears to Shed, and I believe this one went with something having to do with a wedding. I wrote down that this is from the Corpse Bride um, Inspiration. And when I saw this topper, I knew I needed to have it. This actually came with a teal linear hollow. I will put the photo for you here that I have found with credit to the swatcher, as I have not swatched this one yet. I did wait to do a video to swatch this one out. I did wear this one over a blue polish and it looked really pretty. I'll show you over that blue as well as two other purple tones. This is a red micro flaky with some black type micro flakies. It's just really dainty and I feel like this can make any cream look indie. It looks like an indie mani and I have fallen in love with this one. So I hope to find more polishes like this in general, but I will definitely be watching this Patty Lopes brand because these are so cool. They just look like tiny metallic flecks. Let's try this over a couple colors. So these are the colors I've chosen. We've got a cream, a metallic, and kind of a shifty metallic. Let's try this over these. And I'm just gonna give a one swipe coat to all of these. Wow, that's actually really nice over this color. They look like little embers burning. Wow, they're so bright over that darker color. Ooh, and this one was giving that effect that I was talking about a few moments ago, where the cream colors can just totally look like an indie polish with this over top that is really pretty let's go over this blue one this is actually the color i wore this with and i really enjoyed it really nice topper. The next ones all came with no box. So if you're wondering why you're not seeing a unboxing or the box itself, it's because these three came with bubble wrap rather than a box. So the first one is a rogue lacquer. This is one of those oil slick type of darker multi-chromes. And this has what I think is like a scattered micro hollow as well as like a scattered smaller hollow flake. So this one's kind of interesting with that. And then look at this chrome. I mean, it goes from like this blue to green to orange to yellow to red or whatever. I mean, it's like really rainbowy. You get like a purple burnished wine look there. You get dark green. You get blue in the corners. You get, I mean, really, guys, that is so pretty. <laughs> Let's try this out. Let's go in with our first coat. 
Wow, this is so close to full opacity just in the first coat. Easy two coater. But really, if you pack it on in a thicker coat, there you got yourself a one coater. That is absolutely amazing. Longer nails, you're going to want two coats. But look at that pretty shimmer, and wow, does that have a starry night effect or what? Oh my goodness. That is beautiful. I did not expect such a hollowy party nail. This is so pretty. Look at that shift. Wow. This is so pretty. And so shifty. Oh my goodness. Wow, y'all. This one is called Red Luna. And I am not exactly sure about the inspiration on this one, but the polish is so pretty. The next one, again, no box, but this is absolutely beautiful. This one comes from the brand Nailed It out of Hawaii. This is a flaky polish, pink with that golden hue, and this is super, super pretty. This one is inspired by Pokemon, and this one's called Hydro Pump. Let's try it out. First coat. Let me color correct this for you. That is more what we are looking at in our first coat. So we'll let that dry and come back for a second coat. Let's go in with our second coat. At my nail length, two nice thick coats does this polish really well. And wow, is it a stunner. That is absolutely just so pretty, you guys. Wow, super cute. There it is with the flash on it. I love that. Longer nails, you are going to want a third coat. And the last one is from Night Owl Lacquer. This one I had to have. This was the first one I knew that I absolutely had to have from September's selection. This is a glittery and flaky filled delicious juicy jelly. This one is called Sexy Squash. Love their square bottles. Let's take a look at this one on the nail. Let's go in with our first coat. That is so pretty. It does have that kind of squishy jelly type of formula. This one should build up really great in two to three coats. And look at how sparkly those little glitters are. So cute. Let's go in with our second coats. Going in with a pretty thick one here. That seems to cover it in two nice thick coats. If you have longer nails, you may still want three depending on how you want the polish to look. Goodness, that is so pretty. Nice fall color, but I would totally rock this throughout the year. Gorgeous. Here 
Here it is with flash, just for fun. This is such a nice one. The next thing is actually the freebie. It looks completely used because, again, this was the September uh, haul. So I have been using this one all through October since I got it. And now we're in November. So I did use like a quarter of the bottle already at least. And I've been absolutely loving this. This is from Hula Moon, since you can't see it. Um, this is a Hawaiian brand, and I absolutely love this stuff. Oh my goodness. This is actually scented in a fall cake scent. This is the Kona Gold Blend Cuticle Oil. And that has... Almond oil, jojoba oil, rice bran oil, and vitamin E oil. So this has been an absolute wonder in keeping my cuticles nice as well as helping my nails. I will be featuring this again very shortly in a video to come. And if you wanted to see the boxes, here's all the boxes and when you reach a certain threshold they also send some of these delicious hawaiian gummy candies so these were my gifts with purchase and that comes at a threshold which i did go a little crazy so here is the full haul so this comes from Hella Handmade Creations. Hella Handmade Creations is a site that opens up once a month to offer some exclusive, beautiful polishes that are only available for that month. They're very limited edition, and some of them come at a cap, meaning they only make so many. This one, for example, I believe this one had like a hundred bottle cap. Only a hundred were made, only a hundred were sent out. That was it. So it gives you some really uh, limited edition exclusive type of polishes to add to your collection. And some of them do a running theme. So right now, for instance, Dom Polish is doing Hello Kitty themed nail polishes. And Zombie Claw is doing Powerpuff Girls themed uh, polishes. Nailed It is doing some Pokemon themed polishes. So it gives you a little bit of an idea of how this is working right now is they are doing some running series of beautiful polishes. And again, they are kind of exclusive. You don't get a shot at them again. So I would definitely check them out every month and add some beauties to your collection. So if you have enjoyed this haul and swatch, please give it a like. And if you would like more nail content, especially in the Indieverse, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I do videos a few times a week. And if you hit the notification bell, you'll make sure to never miss an upload. So until next time, friends, thanks so much for hanging with me.